Hello and welcome everyone and thank you so much for joining us today for an informative and exciting CLIA Global Cruise Line webinar with Princess Cruises. My name is Charles Sylvia and I am the Vice President of Trade Relations and Industry Special Envoy here at CLIA and I am thrilled to be part of today's, I'm thrilled to be the MC for today's presentation because this brand means the world to me. I started out my cruising life aboard a Princess Cruises ship. So now I'm going to quickly go through some housekeeping before introducing our esteemed presenter. This webinar will run for approximately 40 to 45 minutes with time for questions at the end. Please feel free to type your questions into the questions module of the GoToWebinar platform, and we will get to your questions at the conclusion of the presentation. This webinar will be recorded and will be posted on CLIA's YouTube channel, which is CLIA Global. And now I have the distinct honor and high privilege of introducing today's presenter, Carmen Roig, who is Vice President of Sales with Princess Cruises. Carmen is a 40 plus year veteran of the cruise industry, and she joined Princess Cruises as Vice President of Sales in March 2022. In this capacity, she oversees the cruise line's trade relationships, business development teams, and also serves as the authority across all sales modalities, including web, contact centers, and on board. In addition, Carmen brings new and innovative products and services to the trade that will enhance trade earning potential, we all love that, and expand Princess Cruises brand consumer demand. Prior to joining Princess Cruises, Carmen spent six years leading marketing and sales for the ultra luxury operator Crystal Cruises. Previously, she held sales roles with Azamara Club Cruises and Costa Cruises. She began her cruise industry career at Carnival Cruise Line in 1981, rising through the ranks to become business development director for the greater Miami area. Over the years, Carmen has been recognized as a leader in the industry, constantly moving forward with innovation and an unyielding commitment to the travel advisor community. For these efforts, she has been recognized with numerous industry accolades, including serving on the Condé Nast Women in Travel Advisory Board, appointed to the Tourism Development Council of the Miami-Dade County Board of Commissioners, serving as the past chair of and current member of the Academy of Hospitality and Tourism, and past president of the Executive Association of Greater Miami. He has been recognized by the National Academy Foundation in New York as Advisory Board Champion of the Year and served on the board of Camillus House, an organization dedicated to eradicating homelessness in Miami. A longtime resident of South Florida, Carmen earned a, her Bachelor's of Science degree in broadcast journalism and sociology from the University of Miami. And before we hear from my dear friend, Carmen, she's going to play us a wonderful video to introduce her presentation. Carmen. Well, Welcome greetings back. valued. Thank you, Charlie. Oh my God, thanks so much for this amazing introduction. You know, I always say it's always technical, right? Uh, it is so good to be here with all of you. And my goodness, you and Joe, what a great job. So last time we did this webinar, and hopefully everybody remembers, it was really technical and I am not a technical person. Charlie, those were such kind words. I can't even begin to tell you how much I appreciate uh, those lovely, lovely words, but more importantly, your kindness, your partnership, what you do for our industry is beyond belief. You truly are a champion of the travel partner community. So thank you. And it was wonderful being with you recently uh, on the beautiful, beautiful Discovery Princess. And like you, I kind of own Princess my career because I actually started at Carnival Cruise Lines, but it was the love boat, you know it well. Boy, did we have dinner and talk about all of that. Uh, the love boat is the reason I chose cruising because I would look at the Port Miami where I grew up 
in Miami and always thought, I want to do that. I want to do cruising. So it was absolutely phenomenal. And it was a perfect, perfect way. And when I worked at Carnival Cruise Lines or the corporation, I worked for every brand except for Princess Cruises, or I represented every brand as well. So it was really, I think this is a homecoming when I joined last year in March of 22. So really, I came to ensure that we strengthen our trade, our trade relationships, really, and make sure that we're doing everything we can to be a pleasure to do business with. By the way, those are shots of my family, uh, the ones on the cruise last year. And we're preparing our family cruise on Caribbean Princess December of this year. So we always take our family cruise at the end of the year. Super excited. My medallion tells me I'm 65 days away. So ready to go. Anyway, so thank you all. I'm just going to share a few of, you know, the initiatives, right? So when I joined the company about 18 months ago, my goal was simple. How do we strengthen our trade partner relationships? How do we become a pleasure, right? How do I understand what they need and make sure we're providing you everything? So really, Princess Partners is our commitment to you. And I'm happy to say we actually got a Magellan Award this year, which is a gold award for cruise marketing education program. So you've probably seen the Princess logo for the partners, which is really, really critical. What does it mean? It really stands for all the great programs we have that are designed to help you grow your business with Princess. And it reinforces our commitment to you, our travel partners. We are in this together. So what are some of the tools at your disposal, right? So we have all our marketing tools, customizable flyers, videos, social media tools on onesourcecruises.com. Obviously our award-winning Princess Academy, which is so proud of Polar Online Chats. We just want to make sure all of this was launched last year when I joined. We actually did the architecture and I said, I want to make sure that princesspartners.com, for those who are not on One Source Cruises, you're able to get on and get all the assets you need, all the information that you need. And by the way, I host our own, uh, what we call Connect with Princess, which are bi-monthly webinars. And of course, I send out a weekly newsletter. So I want to keep you all informed on all things Princess. So Connect, you know, when I introduced this princesspartners.com site, uh, I was asked by the team, well, why? We have onesourcecruises.com. <clears throat> That's right. If you're registered with us and if you've sold our brand, but if you are new to this industry, and let me tell you, and Charlie can attest to this, because as I've been out in the field meeting with all of our advisors, there is a huge percentage of you that are new to our industry. And then we have those that are, are phenomenally well versed in our brand. And you guys are on one sources, but those that aren't on one source cruises, we needed to find a vehicle to introduce you to our brand. And that way you could really get immersed in what this is all about. What is it that we offer? So, you know, princesspartners.com really went live earlier this year. Uh, no, this is not replacing our amazing one-stop shop travel advisor portal, onesourcecruises.com, but really think of this as a new site, as more of an invitation to those travel advisors who aren't currently engaging with us. We want to make sure that we make it super easy for you to get started, and we actually have a links into One Source Cruises, so if you want to go ahead, just get registered. If you're already registered, you can even log into One Source, uh, which is pretty phenomenal. So let's just talk about what some of the One Source Cruise options, right? So connect with Princess. So this is our webinar series and we do them, by goodness, twice a month. Talk about a lot of work. We come straight to you from our studio in Fort Lauderdale. Many of you know Princess as the company that started. You remember the love boat? We really tagged or created that Mexican Riviera cruise and we had Santa Clarita in LA as our main office. And now we have an office in Fort Lauderdale, really close to Port Everglades. So if you're ever here attending anything, Clea, you will see like Cruise 360, or if you're sailing, you will see our offices. It's absolutely beautiful, uh, and it's always branded. So these are incredible. They're hosted live by me and my very amazing partner and prophet, Marsha Patrick, who's our director of sales uh, for Princess. And by the way, happy anniversary, Marsha. Today is her anniversary, 26 years with the Princess brand. So she's an absolute expert. And again, we just won a Magellan Award, a silver award for the cruise marketing webinar that we do. So very excited. And if you're not on our webinars, please, please join us. And then this year, we also introduced something new. This was relatively new, like within the last four weeks. Why? Because we had whole times in the summer that we've addressed, we've made sure that we had the right sources for you so that when you're calling us, we're answering that phone very quickly. And contact centers, as you heard, Charlie is under my um, area now 
of, of really not expertise, even though I started in reservations years ago, but really my area of having to be responsible, right? So I'm accountable and responsible. But one of the things we saw as we were listening to calls, we saw that a lot of our advisors really didn't know the self server so they didn't understand Polar Online, which is our travel advisor, you know, really our platform, right? So we have a full schedule. So we've all got three levels. I don't want anybody to feel like they're overwhelmed. Uh, we've done beginner, intermediate, and advanced levels. And these are live trainings, 30-minute sessions led by in-house experts. And I got to tell you, the October 4th session that we had, had over 400 attendees. It was incredible. Same thing for our October 11th intermediate course. So uh, our VP of reservations, Jen W, Jen Wright, who comes often to join me on our Connect with Princess is actually doing all of those. So I got to thank you all. And please don't be afraid. It is all about learning. I am the, my kids call me a dinosaur. I am the least techie person. And if I can understand her training, it's remedial for Carmen. It'll work for everybody else. Because I tell you, as we are gearing up for wave 24, we had an amazing 23. Thanks to you. Thanks to your business, your support, your loyalty, and your confidence. And we know 24 is going to be a banner epic year for us. So I want to make sure we're giving you all the tools so you can self-serve your bookings as needed. And then how do you partner with us? It's really interesting. It is very simple. I call it AKA Princess 101. So if you know Princess, phenomenal. If you're new to us, we have these great tools designed just for you. And again, you can order a copy. I love the QR codes. My team, Joe and, and Brandon and Anne, they love to create these things. And of course, this Princess Partner support team. So that was another thing that was really important to me when I joined. We didn't have a quote unquote inside sales department. So all of you would call reservations and that's great, but that's not really a support uh, function, right? Just for sales. So we ended up creating this amazing princess partner support team. It's comprised of 15 knowledgeable press specialists, by the way, they're all over the country. So every kind of a possible time, but there are also a lot of folks who have been working with our brand. So they're very well versed in everything that has to be princess. And of course, they really help you when, with your, you know, our BDMs, business development managers are on the road. That's where we want them, right? We want them in your offices or we want uh, the home team, which are the ones who actually reach out to those of you who are at home. Home-based is big. A lot of people, you know, after the pause, we're not going to talk about the coma, but a lot of folks, you know, decided to close brick and mortar and go home. So we want to make sure that we have a touch point. So I did this big paradigm shift exercise last year. I said 1.0 because we're going to enter 2.0 for 24 and made sure that every single travel advisor who raises their hand will have a representative from Princess calling on them so that we can help you grow your business. That's our commitment to you. And then I just want to shift in the most exciting for me. And I, and I kind of love it. I, I play the Beatles song, Here Comes the Sun, setting sail. This is ship number 16. So when I joined, I was blessed that I had just joined when Princess added ship number 15 to our fleet, the Discovery Princess, which is absolutely gorgeous. So what's next? Well, it's the innovation. You're going to see for yourself in 2024 as the sun will revolve around you. This is an entirely new class of ship for the princess brand. We call it fear class, but the first is the sun princess. So you'll notice we'll host, it's our largest ever, by the way. And many folks say, oh, is this, which, which sun is this? Because you'll recognize the name. We really believe at princess that once we retire a ship, if we're bringing back ships, we're bringing back the gorgeous name and sun. It is going to be amazing. 29 restaurants and bars, 21 directs, and it features more than 1,500 verandas. So you can imagine. And also all of those veranda staterooms have an in-room sofa. So this is incredible. It's a total of 2,157 staterooms, 50 suites, 100 connecting rooms, 21 decks, and it features more outdoor veranda space and balcony accommodations. It's going to be amazing, and we're super excited. So what is it about the Sun Princess that makes it so new and why I think it's a revolutionary ship, right? This ship has been designed to celebrate the views, right? So while many ships out there are built to be inward-facing, Sun Princess has been designed to be outward facing to celebrate the stunning views and really allow this natural natural light so i believe this unique iconic design is really designated and designed to incorporate everything 
that people love about cruising, right? So let's just talk how we're upping our game. So on these Connect with Princess webinars that I've had, uh, I've had our entertainment team come on, Chris from Entertainment. I've had FMB leaders. I've had a little bit, including, by the way, I've had the architect and designer for Sun Princess, uh, Richard Parker, that was with us and gave us all the behind the scenes. We're going to talk a little bit more about that. But we have raised the bar on Sun Princess with entertainment. So if you've cruised with us before, you know the Piazza, that is, I call it the heartbeat of our brand. On every single princess ship, it's the same kind of setup, right? Because when our guests come back, we want them to feel that they are being embraced by the brand and it's familiar to them. So this is our iconic architectural feature. It offers guests, again, with that sphere class, an outward looking space, comfortable seating and areas to enjoy these amazing, gorgeous views all around. And another, talk about a reimagined favorite, our theater, right? This is our princess theater. It really has evolved into what we're calling the princess arena. Just think about entertainment in the round. So it's technologically advanced. So the performance space is really different. We can configure it in many ways in the round. It really has a crowning glory LCD wall that brings productions to life. By the way, we have many ways to configure the stage, right? So we can just have traditional stage setup, or we can do this incredible princess in the round with entertainment. Now, I'm super excited about the top deck dome. So this is also new. So during the, dome, during the day, the dome features what we call an indoor-outdoor pool. So you're actually seeing it from where you would be at the pool area, right? It's a unique water feature. It's really comfortable and relaxed. I like to say it actually reminds me in the daytime because of kind of entertainment, it reminds me kind of like of a Santorini experience. So if you've ever been there, you know. And then at night, it just absolutely transforms into an entertainment venue. I, because I'm from Miami, I cannot help myself. It is like a South Beach vibe. So it's state-of-the-art lighting effects and the ability to deliver some stunning aerial performances here and then entertainment has been raised so you could just imagine how do you do something different so we you will notice we have a lot of unique partnerships so Cirque Eloise, I hope I, I pronounced that right because all my French friends do a beautiful job. It will be exclusively on Sun Princess. There are three spectacular original contemporary circus performances for us. So just imagine 20 to 30 minute shows will rotate on board Sun Princess in the dome with disciplines of aerial hoops, aerial pole, bunging. I mean, this is incredible. And if you just think of this mind bending contortion and more, our guests are really, really gonna be enthralled by this addition and experience. So then I wanna talk about the mystery door. So I mentioned my good friend, Richard Parker, this architect and designer, he was working on the Sun Princess during the whole pause. And I, I gotta thank our corporation because Carnival chose princess as the brand that would have this game-changing design and ship. So he talked about this mystery door. On my webinars, I always like to say I'm given insider scoop. You've got insights that you would normally not, but I could not break him. He could not allow me to get him to tell us what is the mystery door. So luckily we announced it two weeks ago. It is adjacent to crooners. It'll be found. It's a mysterious black door. It's really out of place, by the way. It's out of place in the piazza. So it's going to lead our guests to an exciting new venue, right? We've been talking about this. We've been talking about the mystery door. I couldn't break his silence. And finally, October 12th, we actually introduced what this mysterious door leads. Play the video. So on October 12th, we unveiled 
finally, Spellbound by Magic Castle. It's a collaboration with the famed Hollywood icon set to enchant our guests aboard Sun Princess when the ship debuts in 2024. And I got to tell you, it's an exclusive, exclusive partnership that has been amazing. So guests will find nestled behind this nondescript door amidst the sensational confines of the newest princess ship where they'll enjoy incredible feats of magic. I mean, this is in Incredible. So I don't know if you've been to Magic Castle in LA. It's really a clubhouse for the Academy of Magical Arts and for magicians and magic enthusiasts. By the way, it's in Hollywood, uh, District of LA, as you all know, and it bills itself as the most unusual private club in the world. Magic Castle features magic shows, historic displays, as well as a full service dining room and numerous bars. So we said this partnership, how do we, you know, kind of represent it and replicate it? in our beautiful ship. So, but by the way, many celebrities have performed at the Magic Castle, including Orson Welles, Johnny Carson, Steve Martin, Neil Patrick Harris, uh, one of the castle's most memorable performers, right? Who does sleight of hand was Di Vernon. So I gotta tell you, it is spectacular. So when you look at this, you're looking at the great decor, reminiscent of the Magic Castle, and here's a peek at the foyer. So absolutely amazing. So they're going to look at this incredible experience, and you're going to think you are actually at the Magic Castle. So this is a dedicated space. So there's also the music room, okay? Here's a peek. Obviously, these are artist renditions, right? We're rendering these. But when it actually debuts in 24, we're so excited about what this is going to do. By the way, don't be surprised if our guests are sitting there. And they happen to say, hey, name that tune. I'd love to hear uh, the love boat. And that piano starts playing the love boat. Do not be surprised. So think of all the ornate decor, right? So this is the parlor bar. Ornate decor, it includes really magical artifacts, vintage curiosities, and real interactive special effects, right? So we've designed this. It's meticulously been appointed by the Magic Castle partners, right? Absolutely incredible. So, you know, Think of the performances that world-class magicians will have with us, right? And so the parlor bar is going to be amazing pre advanced But then I want to talk about the theater because that's where the true magic happens, folks. Oh, the theater is going to be magnificent. Yes, it's very intimate because this kind of magic is, and I've, I've actually been um lucky enough, I want to say, to be at one of these Magic Castle performances, and it will totally, totally blow you away. You do not know how that you are right there with the magician. So the theater accommodates about 30 guests, but please know that the entire, like the parlor and all of these music rooms, our guests can be part of that as well. But the shows, we will actually uh, play them every night, so we'll be able to have all the guests that want to join us. So look for it. More to come as we continue to unveil everything about entertainment. But I want to talk about culinary. So culinary, you all know how important it is for a cruise. So you're going to savor the flavors on board. Why? Because you're going to see a lot of our normal you know, princess staples like the International Cafe, but it is reimagined. So it's now located. So I'm used to this being really in deck five. Now it's located at the top deck of the piazza. So it's a great place for ever-changing array of small bite meals, treats. This is where I start my morning every day. This is how I start my non-fat latte with my sugar-free caramel or hazelnut. They know me by name. We're going to talk about the medallion class experience. And then now on the beautiful Sun Princess, we'll have outdoor seating. So just imagine, again, it's that theme that goes through the vessel that you can go inside, outside. Be there for what you need, which is the incredible, incredible views. Horizon Dining Room. Ta-da, you asked for it. So this is going to be incredible. So on Pr Sun Princess, there'll be a three-story uh, main restaurant, right? It's a first for us. So I want everybody to know we've not had this approach to our restaurant. So it's going to feature dining options to suit really every mood, right? So just imagine the stunning wake views and the natural light highlighting a decorative sculpture. Um, and the beautiful Horizons Dining Room will stretch from deck six to deck eight, and each level will offer a different dining experience. So your guests are going to want to try them off. Now, Crown Grill. Actually, Charlie and I had an amazing dinner at Crown Grill. By the way, we have an exclusive Camus wine pairing dinner as well, but we enjoyed that incredible wine at Crown Grill. So this is iconic. If you've been on Princess, you know, but this experience is going to go 
to another level. It's going to be modern, a sleek design, and a theater-style kitchen, right? Again, if you've been on Crown Grill, you know what it is, premium aged beef and fresh seafood items. By the way, I don't eat meat, and I will tell you, it was an amazing experience. There was something for everyone. So even we, we started a vegan menu, so we're going to talk about that as well. But it's really an intimate dining experience, and it's in a real classic, elegant, elegant setting. So Sabatini's Italian Trattoria, another one that's been reimagined, okay? It'll feature an inspired interior design, right? So it's going to be like an intimate bistro style kind of nooks and dramatic circular dining room. Uh, you're going to be able, clients going to be able to watch pasta being made fresh every day in an all new pasta room. So that's new with sweeping circular windows. But what I will tell you about Sabatini's, which I didn't realize, I didn't realize Princess got their roots and their start, as you might know, our officers are Italian. And that's why you have the piazza and you have all of these amazing, you know, Italian kind of culture uh, points throughout, which I thought was wonderful. O'Malley's. So this is interesting. So O'Malley's Irish pub. We're going to make sure we have it there. Just think of that Irish infusion. And then this is new. So this is Umai Tepanaki. So I don't know if you all have ever participated. It will be limited capacity, but the same thing, folks. We will make sure it's open day and night. And if you've looked at how we have changed our culinary offerings, even on our cruise ships now, so any of the 15 in the fleet, you will see we're offering a lot of options at different times. But this is absolutely new. And then we have this promenade, which is also new to the Princess brand. So again, our famous, you all love our pizzas, buy the slice, and of course the ice cream. Not the gelato, the ice cream. We have still gelato on this. And then we've actually gone into an inspired new, uh, you might know, Chef Rudy Soderman. He's award-winning. We, we've actually had Rudy on board and helping us with much of our culinary. But the catch is the first princess restaurant primarily devoted to seafood. It really offers a completely fresh take on seafood with the chef's contemporary interpretations of classic dishes. So you're going to have international fusion. It'll be amazing. And of course, the catch by Rudy is expected to make a tremendous splash given the menu. And it's really going to appeal to both seafood aficionados, which I love, and guests who simply just love some great surf and turf. And then last week, keeping with that Italian theme, the butcher's block by Dario. I told you I do not eat meat, so I didn't know who Dario is. Dario, and I hope my Italian is up to par, Seccino, Seccini? I hope I said that right. Anyway, this is a new specialty bistro, okay? He's an award-winning chef and cookbook author, okay? So he is incredible, and I'm so looking forward to this new edition. Again, how do we... How do we up our game in culinary? Everybody wants more and they want new and exciting. I think that's a song. Love, exciting and new? Well, we're going to give it to you. Okay, relaxation and ju rejuvenation. This is a part I love, right? So love and love and the spa experience. So our Lotus Spa, you know, we have them on our ships now. So it's just going to be refreshed with a contemporary look. And then, of course, the Enclave. So this is Enclave at Lotus Spa. So if any of you have cruised with us, this is not you. We're just going to reimagine it and give it a real contemporary, incredible feel. Now, the Sanctuary. This, if you haven't, I have not had access to the Sanctuary. I hope on my cruise this year I can because it, it's a really unique area. So take a break. Indulge in a private getaway at the Sanctuary. So this is our exclusive adults-only retreat. It offers a relaxing alternative to the myriad outdoor activities and entertainment available that we have elsewhere on the ship. So we have signature beverages there. We have light meals. Our Serenity Stewards, I love it. It reminds me of that movie, Serenity Now. They attend to our clients' every need, whether it's to be on hand to provide them chilled face towels, heavy and water. What do they need? They're going to get it at the sanctuary. It's absolutely gorgeous. And then the Sea View Terrace. This will be, this is new. It's in, actually, no, our Lido pool. Before I get to the Sea View Terrace, sorry about that. Uh, I got it, but even though I kind of like the Sea View Terrace, and we're going to talk about that in a second, but the Lido, you all know, it's our Lido pool. It's located on deck 17 on board Sun Princess. It'll have two pools, the jacuzzis, and of course, you know what we're known for, the signature movies under the stars. If you haven't experienced that, folks, this is so unique to Princess, besides the buttered popcorn and the comfortable uh, seatings, because it's not just your regular deck chairs. We do an amazing job. Now, we've also reimagined youth and teen center. So let me talk about this, because most people don't think of Princess as a 
you know, a children's brand experience, right? That's why we have our amazing sister brand, Carnival Cruise Lines, that focuses and features everything they possibly can for kids. But the reality is, if you've been on a princess cruise, this will blow you away. The amazing facilities. And, you know, we're number one in Alaska for families. You know, Alaska's our number one destination. We don't visit there, folks. We own Alaska, including our lodges. But as we're seeing multi-gen travel really taking off, one of the things I can tell you about uh, our Princess Alaska experience is that we carry more families to Alaska than any other cruise line. I did not know that. So now as we go into the Sun Princess experience and we're reimagining our youth and teen centers, right? So we can go after this, again, multi-gen. So we'll have Firefly Park, we'll, which is absolutely adorable. So you can see it's a kid's club for the youngins. I call it the younger kids, which reach a lot of, it's just a different experience. If you have kids, you know what it is. I wish we had this one. I, my kids, as, as well as the medallion class experience, by the way, so Firefly Plant really is for our youngest princess guests. It's super imaginative. It's located on deck six on this ship. So it invites really all the ships, for uh, all the kids from six months to seven years old and their families really to explore, play, and socialize. So consider this a family center where you can drop the kids off if you want for programming and art projects, or you can be part. They'll have theme parties, games, group games. And it also invites, again, families with babies and toddlers, ages six months to three, to crawl and engage. You know, and again, after hours, we do have group babysitting available, right? From 10 p.m. to 1 a.m. And it's about $5 per hour in that uh, for ages three to 12 as well. So Neon Grove is super cool, right? I, I kept calling it Groove, but it's Grove. I mean, I know they're, they're playing what I love. This is new. It's for tweens. And it's the in Incredible, super cool, located on deck seven, so separate from the other, two separate areas, and they really offer great space for tweens and teens to hang out, socialize, just have fun. You know, both of these are really going to be very co colorful, of course, comfy seating, chairs for lounging. If we don't have PlayStation, PlayStation 5, Nintendo Switch gaming consoles, it's funny because my son is 26 years old and he brings his Switch on board our cruise. Can you imagine that? Of course, foosball, ski ball, air hockey, all the programmed activities for these age group specific kids. And then the underground, this is going to be super cool. So again, the underground also for the tweens and teens, and it's on deck seven as well. So this is really, really cool. We're very excited about what this brings to the experience. And just remember the Firefly Park, Neon Grove, and the underground, again, raising the bar on the experience. And then this is absolutely new. And so before I get everybody getting concerned, this is Park 19, it is a public area. It's low lake located, as you can imagine, Deck 19, it's shown here, and you're really going to find a new type of activity center that we call Park 19. So it's a great multi-generational space with a variety of options that young and old alike can enjoy together. But I don't want you all to think that, you know, we are turning into a kids only cruise line. That is not what that is, okay? It, it is really our research, the multi-gen folks, what they want. They just want to make sure, grandparents want to make sure kids of all ages, and that includes adults for, uh, is especially, have something to do. So we've just upped the game. So Park 19, so the Sea Breeze Roll Glider. Again, it's new to our brand and to Sun Princess. This one's really interesting because I'm afraid of heights, so I don't think you'll catch me here, but you can kind of like soar like a bird, 19 decks above the waves on this sea breeze roll glider. It's a first at sea. So can you imagine? You can even go for it right now uh, with QR codes that we give you. We actually have previews for this experience. It's a taste of what you'll find. So just think about it amazing. It's kind of like a roller coaster zip line that delivers the feeling of free flying in a completely safe environment that our guests get to control. So really cool. And then we have the net, which is there also harnessed above deck 19. And there, you know, our guests are challenged to trek across the unstable bridges. It's like a Z shaped uh, balance beam and climb cargo net. So it's really exciting. And then we have a coastal climb. So this is a really engaging kind of experience, right? So you got the splash zone. We're going to talk about that. Everybody knows it's a whimsical splash area with pop jets and a beautiful water sculpture. It's really a refreshing and relaxing area just to chill out. The kids are going to love it. But by the 
away, so will the adults, okay? So when you look at the net, that's going to be harnessed. You'll see it up there above 19. So guests are really challenged. I, sorry about that. I want to make sure you, you got this, right? And we've got coastal climb as well. And I talked about Splash Zone. Again, what is this all about? It's about raising the bar on our experience. So then I want to talk about the suites on board. Because these, huh, your home away from home, we have some amazing new stateroom features for our guests. Uh, it will blow your mind. So I really just want to talk about some of the changes that we've done. So here you'll see our deluxe balcony stateroom, right? I call them verandas. I can't help myself. The reverse layouts or options are available, by the way. So these staterooms have all been redesigned from the ground up, and they now include a sofa bed in each of them. So what traditionally was only available in a deluxe Veranda is now every single veranda stateroom on Sun Princess will have that sofa bed sit, set up included. So I think that's really unique and wonderful. So you don't actually have to be in a suite. You can be in just a regular deluxe balcony stateroom. And it's about 235 square feet, including that veranda. Um, and then guess, guess what else is new? I know this doesn't sound like a big deal, but it does to us. It is the incredible shower doors. They are glass shower doors. So now all our veranda staterooms provide outstanding views. Besides from the veranda, now you've got these glass shower doors. We've been asking about it. We're giving it to you. So I think it's great. Everybody wanted it and it's on all the staterooms and it's new on Sun Princess. It'll be on Star as well. And then when you think about culinary, and by the way, on, on Sun Princess, talk about good news. We will also have some few single staterooms, okay? We don't know how many yet, but that's the drip campaign, so more to come on that. So now I want to go to the reserve collection mini suite. So formerly we used to call these club class, so I just want everybody to know the club class accommodations on board this ship and all of our ships on Princess now will be called the reserve collection. So these are the ones that are best located, mini suite staterooms on the ship. So it's a premium category featuring all the standard mini suites amenities plus the prime locations and exclusive VIP touches. What are those? So exclusive reserve collection dining, which is great at their own schedule with no reservations needed, expedited seating, dedicated wait staff, and much more. One complimentary wine setup, evening ca canapes upon request, and of course, luxurious bathrobes and everything that comes with that experience. We wanted to really up it. And again, one of the things that many of you have asked, why don't your suites have like dedicated restaurants? So on Sun Princess, we heard you. A lot of you enjoy selling those brands that have a ship within a ship because it kind of like ups the game to those affluent guests, luxury guests uh, that kind of want these kind of experiences. So we're, we're offering it. So we'll have our own dedicated reserve collection restaurant. Now, this is what gets me excited, which is the amazing Cabana mini suite. Let me tell you, I had dinner recently with um, a gentleman who was a reporter who visited the ship in the shipyard, and he was showing me on his iPhone all of the cabana suites, actually the whole ship. It looked spectacular, that sphere area, that dome area. Oh, my God. But when he got to this, the Reserve Collection Cabana mini suites, these are going to be a game changer, right? I mean, just think of breathtaking views, but it's a resort-style stateroom. It offers our regular veranda and a private cabana. So it's an extra large outdoor lounge space. So the outdoor cabana features unique outdoor furniture and an extra large private outdoor lounge space. So, I mean, this for me, I would never leave, right? So I could just unwind inside with a separate sitting area with my sofa bed, or I could do the cabana, or I can just open everything up, including the cabana. This is about 329 square feet. It is spectacular. And again, you can have private parties, climate controlled. So even the cabana area, you can close those doors and know that you will have an outdoor area lounge exclusively for our cabana suites. Really incredible. We're very excited about what these cabana decks and cabana suites will be like, right? So we will have a cabana deck that's exclusive outdoor to these. They're reserved for our cabana mini suite guests. It features really just look at the views to the sea. And there's different levels. You'll see some cabana suites have direct access uh, to that cabana deck. And then we'll have others that are located throughout. 
So we're gonna move over to our own, this is an owner suite, but this doesn't know justice. I keep telling Joe, we need to change that. I know he wants to talk about the signature collection because we're launch, launching an exclusively on Sun Princess, right? It's a new level of suite accommodations and it's called the signature collection. So absolutely amazing. And this will also have its own signature restaurant. So you, you, you kind of saw the reserve. We're giving you a lot of information because there's a lot of changes. So signature restaurant, absolutely wonderful launching on some princess a new level of suite accommodations and within this it's that restaurant exclusive for all of our signature uh guests and then it'll have this gorgeous lounge this is amazing you could just imagine this private lounge private lounge with this gorgeous views i mean it is a space that i could definitely definitely spend a lot of time and i know our guests have been asking for this we listen to the feedback that our guests provide and they've wanted this. They've been asking for this for a very long time. It will also have its own signature restaurant, which is dedicated as well as a signature sun deck. So this particular sun deck, it will be, um, again, launching exclusive to Sun Princess with this new signature collection, right? Besides all the additional amenities, signature sun deck will be a private area of the sanctuary. The pool is shared, but they will have a private area just for those signature, um, collection guests. So again, you've been asking for it. You really wanted us to kind of raise the bar and have a ship within a ship. And I think you've got several ways to do this on board. It's more than one way, three different ways you can have this kind of exclusivity. So I'm just going to show you some of the signature collection suites. So this is our penthouse suite, about 304 square feet, including the veranda. Absolutely gorgeous. You could just imagine seating area, sofa bed, full bath with tub and separate shower. So uh, you, you can see the view here. It is absolutely amazing the way it is uh, set aside, right? Absolutely gorgeous. And then the signature sky suite. This one, oh, what I would do to be, in, it's like having my own private apartment, right? 1,262 square feet, including the veranda. So it, it actually, the sky suite includes all the luxurious appointments that you would expect, expect right? But an expansive stateroom veranda featuring two bedrooms, two baths, one with a full tub and the other with a separate shower. So talk about raising the bar. So Sun Princess, let's go, February, 2024. She's actually launching in the med with some winter med voyages. We're very excited about it. So just think about this. Then she'll be here in my beautiful hometown. Well, hometown's Miami, but South Florida. So she'll be here in October, October 11th, 2024, Caribbean, Eastern, Western, uh, voyages. So absolutely gorgeous. So you'll see some of the maiden voyages, the 10-day inaugural Grand Mediterranean, six ports of call, absolutely fabulous. Then we have a round trip uh, from Rome on the 18th with six ports. And then the Grand Mediterranean uh, one is actually Rome to Barcelona. So fabulous. This has been open for sale. So very excited about Sun Princess. And of course, the commitment um, that we have a second sphere class ship coming the following year. So this will be the Star Princess sister ship, and it'll be sailing from Rome on nine and 10 day med cruises. Again, we're expecting her in August of 2025. And then I want to talk about our Princess Medallion experience. So this is uh, a once in a lifetime kind of experience, right? When I got here, by the way, don't get caught up in the technology. It is technology that enables what I call personalized service at scale. Ships of 3,000 guests cannot do what the Princess Cruise Medallion class technology allows our onboard team to do, which is really know your clients by name. Those guests, we get to know their likings, their preferences. It is effortless. Now with, I mean, I am going, I'm already on the green lane, which means when I get there, I could get to embarkation at whatever time I want, by the way. I've already personalized my medallion. I personalized my son's. It has his happy birthday on it. Mine has, of course, a love boat feature. Couldn't help myself. But I want to, I want to share a video because I think humor is important. And I want you to see why this is such an exciting thing. Why would you want a way to locate your friends and family on our ships? Hi, Hannah. Look what time it is. It's time for me to be right here with you. That's why. Keep track of your crew anywhere on the ship. 
The Princess Medallion Class Experience. Only on Princess. Exclusively for everyone. Boy, do I love this. I wish they had had that when I had my kids going on cruises instead of having Trek 13 decks, right? This is absolutely incredible. I absolutely love it. It's a great experience. And then we have this, this unique medallion pay. I wanted to include it because most people don't realize we have it. We have this in so many ports of calls, Diamonds International, just imagine restaurants. When you, you don't have to bring your credit card off anymore. You don't have to bring cash. You just bring your medallion, whether you have it like me in a necklace, which I'm wearing now, or a bracelet, or just the regular carrier that we provide, you can pay everything with just medallion pay. And it goes straight onto your shipboard, uh, your shipboard account. And I got to tell you, it is seamless. You own 7% as a shipboard credit, by the way, which is pretty cool. Doesn't impact the rates of what you're getting. You're still going to get deals in Diamonds International. So I'm going to St. Thomas. I'm going to make sure I get a little bobble when I'm there. Anyway, speaking of Princess Perfect Wedding. So this is my 30th wedding anniversary year. We really didn't get to celebrate, but we launched Princess Perfect Weddings, okay? Think about it, it's 25 years after hosting the first modern wedding at sea, we just unveiled this exciting new lineup of wedding packages. And Princess Perfect Weddings really create an unforgettable moment. So whether it's couples, just two, so it's tailored for just two to as many as 18, whether they're looking to do a unique uh, wedding proposal, maybe it's an engagement, or like I'm gonna do a renewal of the vows with my family, which will be super cool. Or you really just wanna have an I do wedding. We have different, different kinds of packages that are available. And really the ceremonies include, you know, the Love Boats picturesque piazza. You can do outside. I'd love to do it in St. Thomas at sunset. That's where I'm thinking of doing it. Absolutely beautiful. And when you compare the price of all of these experiences compared to, listen, these, uh, what do we call brides? I wasn't bridezilla. I don't think I was, but we handle it all for them. So we're going to do it. Proposal, renewal of vows, packages also available up to 18 participants, really unique. And of course, if you do not know, Randy Finoli, he's our new love and romance ambassador. He actually was one of the godfathers of Discovery Princess. So he's actually sailing with us to talk about, you know, Princess Perfect Wedding. So very exciting. By the way, he's from Say Yes to the Dress, if you don't know who it is, and Randy to the Rescue. So really amazing. And he's going to be sailing with us. But more importantly, it was his way of looking at us and telling us, how do we celebrate love. When we say we own love, it's all types of love, folks. It's love of culinary, love of wine, love of destinations, love of family, love of love, whether you're single or not. Maybe it's a divorce trip. Come on, let's let's make it happen. So he's going to be there December 3rd sailing with really some exquisite lineups, right? Meet and greet events with him, special events that are exclusive to folks sailing with him that day. So again, just wanted to make sure we talked about some of the new things. And then I'll just finish up with what we currently have. As you all know, we're getting ready. We're getting ready to launch uh, from November 1st through December 12th our, I want to call it the next uh, promotion, right? Which, by the way, will also cover Black Friday, Cyber Monday. We'll have a little extra, so look for it. But it's really up to 15% off cruise fares and 50% off deposits. So we really want to make sure that we're doing everything we need to get all of them going. So why is this promotion different? So we have come out, if you didn't read it last week, with a new price strategy, right? It's it's a new price strategy where we are going out with the lowest public fares for the season. So every time we open up, and this is starting 24 and beyond, we will have the lowest fares farther out of the departure. We're going to offer clients their best stateroom selection, and we're going to promote our low fares now to help you making sure your bookings stick. And by the way, we're not gonna discount at the last minute. We're reversing the way we do this to really make sure that we are going to provide you uh, the reason that we get consumers booking early. And then a pace to plus, I'm, I'm gonna kind of move quickly because I know we're almost out of time and we wanna take some questions, but I like to say a pace to plus. So many of you do not know that we have this. This is incredible. Uh, this again, those three anchors, this is what our guests already pay for, your clients pay for, beverage packages, Wi-Fi single devices and gratuities for just $60 per person per day. All of this is included. By the way, if you pay it, 
you will get commission up front and you don't have to book it at time of booking. You don't have to add the package. If we do premiere, it has the same three anchors as Princess Plus does. It's $20 more per person per day, but it has all these other additional things, photo packages, reserved seating, a specialty dining. So it's got a lot more. Again, you earn commission and you can add this at any point before your guests sale. Once they're on board, you cannot add it, but you get commission on this. I just want to show you, you know, the ways that you can get commission. And we also created a, a package comparison sheet. So it's us, our basic bundle with Plus Premier compared to other brands, other cruise brands. Uh, and you'll find ours is the best value in the industry, bar none. I will put my money where my mouth is. I am telling you, ours includes the gratuities for everything. We're not going to nickel and dime your folks. It is absolutely phenomenal. So some of you say, what about alcohol? People don't drink. Is it still worth it for them? It absolutely is. Because if you think of what they would pay, this is just on average, even with now non-alcoholic guests that don't want to have any of these beverage packages, it is still well worth it because they're still going to do Wi-Fi. They're still going to do gratuities for our amazing uh, team on board. They might just have bottles of water an energy drink, a fountain soda, all of it. And of course, our premium desserts. I, I, I laugh because I looked at these and I saw them on Discovery Princess. And I thought to myself, oh my God, yes, that's why she's so happy. Absolutely beautiful. And then I want to make sure you all follow me on Facebook. It is my official Facebook page, uh, Like Me, which is great. And at the end of the day, it's a huge thanks to you. We could not do what we do with these amazing onboard team members, our, our onboard families, I like to say, but also assure you, our travel partners that have such great faith in us. Without you, we could not be having the year that we have, but more importantly, 24. I cannot wait. The future is bright. So, Joe, I know I talk a lot. I think I told you that, but quest taken in the few minutes that we have left. I think we have like five minutes. Carmen, thank you so much for that fantastic oh. presentation. So many exciting and new things happening at Princess Cruises. You've got me all excited for the new Sun Princess. So we have a bunch of questions. Uh, and folks, uh, I know we're getting close to the end, but I'm going to ask as many questions as we can. And uh, if you can hang in there, um, then, then great. Um, so first off, Carmen, um, I love this question. Um, Harry is asking, what is it that what what are the common denominators what do do they have in common your highest performing accounts what are the best travel agents selling princess cruises doing that's similar what what are their some of their uh, their trade secrets i gotta tell you and harry what a great question right because i love sharing this and it blows everybody away those top producers that are selling a lot of our brand number one they've taken our princess academy they're in contact. They know who their business development manager is. So we, we constantly have all of these exciting educational opportunities, but they actually don't book standard fare. You'd most think, oh, let's book the cheapest. Not at all. Every time they submit a quote to their clients, it always includes Princess Plus minimum because we're a premium brand. And by including, it pays to plus. That's why I say that. They're getting the commission up front. They know that once their clients get on board, except for shore excursions and casino and maybe spa, everything is taken care of. It is seamless for them. They're, it is just, it adds to the experience, uh, no hassle. And I tell you, that is the biggest secret. They price everything with Princess Plus. Excellent, excellent. And uh, uh, we're hearing from Teresa. She's saying carpe diem, Carmen. <laughs> I carpe love it. Seize the day. That's S-E-A-S, -E by the way. Yes, we are so lucky. Thank you, Teresa. You're so sweet. I need to get a oh, shirt. Oh, wow. So Kate's got a great question. Uh, can travel advisors visit the Princess offices in Santa Clarita or Fort Lauderdale? So Fort Lauderdale, yes, because, you know, it's on the way to the pier. As a matter of fact, we have a whole bunch of seminar at seas and we do love fest. And when we're doing them locally, they can. They absolutely can. Santa Clarita is now just two floors. So we really, everybody's virtual. That used to house our reservations teams and they're all over the country now. But definitely in Fort Lauderdale, have them. If, if, if Kate, if you want to come see, it would be my pleasure. I'm actually right in Miami. I'll come up and I'll give you a tour personally, even the studio where we do our webinars for it. It'd be absolute our pleasure. Oh, that's wonderful. And and Tanya, your question about uh, cruise tours, it's very specific. So we're going to pass it on to uh, Carmen's team and they can reach out directly. 
Um, Don is asking uh, Carmen about uh, telemedicine. So uh, being that he has clients that are asking him more and more about whether the sh ships have telemedicine service as an enhancement of the onboard medical center. Uh, anything in that realm, uh, Carmen? That's a great question. And Don, I wish I had the exact answer because I know our technology, I mean, it, it, the change in that space by leaps and bounds, right? So, you know, we have dedicated doctors and nurses on board. Uh, I'd love to take that one offline because I know we do. We actually have on shore a specialized desk for anything metal, medical, right? Any of those needs that you have before the cruise. But I want to make sure I'm giving you accurate information on board because I've actually been on board to the infirmaries and I know it's all modern technology and it's spectacular, but I don't want to talk about um, telemedicine if I'm not 100% sure about it. I would imagine it does because I've been on cruise lines that it does and I can't imagine us technology uh, gurus that we are wouldn't, right. but I don't want to assume. I remember That's years, a great question, years ago. Don. Princess had an, had a partnership with Cedar Sinai, and there was something like that. But but you'll you'll connect with Don directly. I love it. Absolutely. Um, oh, Denise is asking. I can't blame Denise for this question. Uh, first of all, she says she loves the Sun Princess. Uh, she does groups and charters, and she's wondering if there might be an inaugural cruise for the trade on Sun Princess. Oh, Denise, Denise, that's amazing. Oh my God, it's like you've been <laughs> part of my conversations this week. So you know we're prepping for our wave of twenty four. Last year, uh, Charlie, I introduced this thing called Cell 3 Cruise Free, and we, mm -hmm. we had thousands of travel advisors that got to sail us this year because they sold us. So we're going to do a, a kind of like, and you're getting an insider scoop here, Denise, so great Ooh, question. Because Sun Princess will be in Fort Lauderdale in October, we're going to launch something for Wave that'll be similar to a Cell 3, but instead of sailing free, you will, but it'll be on the inaugural. Uh, voyage, which is a five-day cruise, just so you know. So oh more to come God. on that. That's an insider scoop. The team is going to kill me, Denise. They might have you to heard hire it me here. For, you heard it here first, folks. <laughs> first, right here yes, on you did. <laughs> I love it. Great question. Um, so let's see. Uh, let's see. Uh, oh, Bethany is new to selling cruises and uh, the cruise industry, and she's wondering about uh, Spellbound uh, and Sanctuary. What what the upcharges are for those experiences? So Spellbound, they, they, there will be a charge. Sanctuary currently has a charge. I don't have the exact numbers because they're working through it. Like we have a 360, I think you experienced it. And our Camus right. dinner, it's about $149. Sanctuary is part of the spa experience. So you can actually buy a day pass. So there's a mm -hmm. range of, of pricing that we can offer on that. And then Spellbound, you know, they can access the foyer, the, obviously the beautiful bar. The actual show is what we haven't come out with. There will be a charge for it. We'll have various magic shows shows uh throughout the cruise but they haven't decided on a final price yet i want to say priceless quite frankly because that's what 360 was and it was just for our sweet guests and now we and it's still for our sweet guests complimentary but now we've opened it up to the rest of uh the compliment of guests on board because they wanted it so i i'm very excited about what spellbound will do and sanctuary we have now so if you send an email to you know princesspartners.com uh, I will tell you that they have all of those prices. So depending whether it's one day package, a whole week, mm. or depending on the duration of the cruise. Yeah, that's an incredible resource, princesspartners.com. I encourage every travel advisor on this call to go there right now and check out all the wondering, wonderful offerings that you can apply toward your business. Um, so, so I'm just going to ask one more question because we are at the top of the hour, uh, Carmen. Um, Mary, she has a group of 17 passengers, a new to Princess, and she's just wondering about um, how they'll receive their medallions. Will it be mailed to them or will they pick it up at the pier? So it depends. So if they're part of Princess Plus, and that was one of the um, incredible slides I had. I know I had to go fast at the end, so my sincere apologies, right? Because when they have Plus or Premier, so if they have Premier, it would be obviously they get an accessory. So Plus and Premier, we mail it to them. As a matter of fact, uh, I don't even have Plus yet, but I'm adding it. And we normally mail them a down. And by the way, if you're in Canada, we're mailing to Canada already. Yay. Oh, Canada. Yeah. We've been wanting that for a long time. So, Mary, we normally mail medallions two weeks before the voyage starts. That way we ensure that your clients get it. If they have Plus and Premier, it will be included. If they do not, if they just have a standard fare, they can pick it up at the terminal. They can still do everything in advance on the app, right? The Princess app, Medallion Class app is amazing. I'm already ready to go. Ocean ready, all green. 
they can, you know, they take a picture, they put their passport. That way they will just have to stop and get their medallion if they're a standard uh, price point. And then they just still go straight on. Everything else is exactly the same kind of technology that we have for everybody else. Perfect. Well, Carmen Roy, we at CLIA love you and we love Princess Cruises. And we would just want to find out if you have any closing remarks. I want to say thank you to you and CLIA. The strength of our industry is everything you've done to get our travel partners past the difficult times. We're no longer just surviving. We're thriving. And I want to thank you and CLIA for your friendship, Charlie. It means the world. Truly, it does. Thank you, thank you. all. And I guess I'll finish with the carpe diem. Thank you. Love it. Love it. Now, folks, if, you, um, if you've if you entered a question, please know that all of the questions will be passed along to Carmen and her team. So we will make sure that they connect directly with you. And just thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, Carmen. Thank you, the team at Princess Cruises. And thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for attending today's webinar. Remember that the recording will be on YouTube at, at Clea Global. Goodbye, everybody. <laughs>